Well, I meant to make a video for you guys sooner, but ran out of hours in the day yesterday. But huh, you're looking at my two newest toys here. My wife wouldn't pick these up for me. Two 55 gallon drums, and these are going to be my new farm diesel tanks. Um, with me running the excavator and the truck now, both at the farm, I use about 60 or 70 gallons of diesel a day. And that's just too much to be running five gallon buckets back and forth to the gas station. Um, I think y'all, I don't know if you ever saw it, but I, I had I had about eight or ten five gallon buckets. I guess only eight uh, old hydraulic oil buckets. And yeah, you know, it just gets tedious filling up five gallons at a time and dumping five gallons at a time. And also, the place that does farm diesel said they couldn't fill a five gallon bucket because their pump was too big and said it spilled the bucket over before they couldn't get any diesel in it. So, so they could fill 55 gallon drums. So my wife went and got these, and they contain. Of course, I got the stickers facing backwards on them, but they did contain actually uh, non-GMO canola oil. And I wanted something that had a vegetable oil or canola or something like that because it'll blend with the diesel just fine. It won't cause really any damage or something else might. Um, so that's fine. But I did think it was amusing that it was actually non-GMO canola oil. Because I'm going to fill them up with some non-GMO diesel. Um, anyway, we'll see. I'm up to uh, 14 gallons and counting. And I got to go to 110. So... I'll be here a while. Figured I'd shoot a video. But I'm going to run from here over to Harbor Freight and get a little hand pump. It'd be nice to have an electric pump because I'm lazy, but they've got a hand pump that's pretty affordable. And it says it's got two inch threads are designed to thread right in where these caps thread out, so that'd be handy. Um, and then I'll be able to just pull right up beside the truck of the excavator and just get to cranking like a madman and fill them, fill them up that way instead of hoisting all the buckets up there and spilling diesel all over everything. So hopefully it should all work out. I just want to show you that and I'll show you how it looks when I get the pump on it and I'm actually transferring some diesel. Well the gas station gave me fits and that upset me because I really wanted to show you guys you know exactly 110 gallons of diesel. I got exactly 55 in the first drum and then the pump cut my card off at $100 so I had to go inside. Well I tried to jump down and just rerun the same card start a new transaction but it was it was denying it wouldn't go through so I had to go inside and fuss at the attendant. So he had to reset it, but he, he said it was my card actually had a setting that it wouldn't go past $100, which I've never had that card deny me at $100 before. I've definitely used it for more than that. Um, and it worked just fine, but maybe it's something tied to $100 out of fuel pump. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I got them filled up. You can feel the truck's running a little heavy with, you know, 650 gallons or 650 pounds of diesel, or however much it is back there now and uh, headed over here to get some different oil and stuff and then the store to get that pump. So I sure hope, sure hope Barber Freight has the pump. So they had two the other day. Their systems are usually wrong and not validated, but hopefully they have it, because if they don't, I got 110 gallons of diesel that I can't use for much. So, find out here in a bit.